I, Paul, am a prisoner for the sake of Christ. I write this letter to you, Philemon, my good friend and companion in the work of the Lord. I wish you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time your name comes up in my prayers because I keep hearing of the love and faith you have for the Master Jesus, which brims over to the other believers. Friend, you have no idea how much joy and comfort it is to me to hear about your love for others. With all of this, I have a favor to ask of you, Philemon. You know as Christ's ambassador and now prisoner for him, I wouldn't hesitate to command this if I thought it necessary, but instead, I'd rather make a personal request. While here in jail, I fathered a child, so to speak. He is Onesimus, and he is hand carrying this letter to you. In previous days, he was useless to you, but now he is useful to both of us. I am sending him back to you. He is my very heart. But I don't want to do anything behind your back. Maybe it's all for the best that you lost him for a while. You're getting him back now. And no mere slave this time, but a true Christian brother. And that's what he was to me. He'll be even more than that to you. So, if you consider me a brother, a comrade in arms, I ask you to welcome him back as you would me. If he damaged anything or owes you anything, charge it to my account. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will repay whatever is owed. I know I don't need to remind you that you owe me your very life. Do this big favor, my friend. You will be doing it for Christ, but it will also do my heart good to know Onesimus is welcomed and cared for. I know you well enough to know you will do what I request. It's likely you will go far beyond what I've requested. While you're preparing provision for Onesimus, please get a room ready for me. Because of your prayers, I fully expect to be your guest again. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.